has the ability to work with 3D solids, 3D surfaces, or 3D meshes, which is best. 3D solids most closely replicate the real world, but are also the most difficult to work with. 3D surfaces are more flexible and are used in special cases, while 3D meshes usually come from non-CAD sources, and while they're the most flexible to edit, they represent the real world least. The primary benefit of a 3D solid is that it mimics the real world quite accurately. In fact, when you select it, the properties palette shows you important information such as its mass and centroid. 3D solid models can be used with finite element analysis, and that's the important analysis software that determines whether or not a part will break when it's used in the real world. When you make parts from milling machines, such as for aircraft and automobiles, you have to use a solid model. 3D solids are created and edited with the solids tab on the ribbon. The primary difference of surfaces from solids is that surfaces are not watertight. A solid is watertight, which means that if you were to stick water inside of it, it none of it would leak out. With a surface, water always leaks out. Because surfaces are not as constrained as solids in how you can manipulate them, they're often used for things like automobile design to first determine the exterior, and then once the shape is approved, it gets converted to sheet metal, which is a form of solid model. Surfaces are created and edited through the Surfaces tab on the ribbon. Meshes traditionally have been so difficult to work with that in CAD we only bothered using them in the very earliest days when no other forms of 3D were around. Here's a typical polyface mesh and you can see it's made up of lots and lots of triangles and when I select it, the properties bar says there are 3,000 triangles. This particular one is from an import from another CAD system but you can also arrive at them when you do a 3D laser scan and that uh, those dots are converted to triangles. Polyface meshes are unusually flexible in how you can edit them. So for example, I can grab this piece here and just drag it out. It's not available in BricsCAD 18, but another way of editing mesh models is using subdivision modeling, which then smoothly edits the model and is often used in industrial design to get smoothing curves such as the handle of a hair dryer. Poly meshes are most commonly used to represent terrain. There is no ribbon specific to poly meshes, but uh, there are these three toolbars that uh, give you a start at working with them. BricsCAD has commands for turning poly meshes into solids and back again, but it takes several steps. Here we have a polyface mesh object, as you can see from the properties panel. First step is to use the explode command, then explode it into a number of 3D faces. And then you use the region command to convert the 3D faces into regions. Finally, you can use the dm stitch command to convert the regions into a 3D solid. If you want to go back again, well then there is the 3D convert command, and it turns it back into a polyface mesh. You can convert a surface model to a solid model, but it has to be watertight. So we have this cylinder here, but we need to give it a top and a bottom, like a tin can. So the way I'm going to do that is first draw a circle, and it's very handy to use uh, entity snaps. So there's the uh, center, and then I'll use quadrant to find the edge. And there we have the circle. Now I'll use the region command to select the last entity, which is the circle, and turn it into a region. We could do the same thing again at the bottom, but I think what I'll do is I'll copy it. So use the copy command and I'm going to again use the quadrant entity snap to start precisely from here and then entity, quadrant entity snap to precisely go there. So now we have a surface that is watertight. Again we use the dm stitch command to stitch the entire model and when I select it, it is a 3D solid. To convert a solid to surfaces, use the explode command. When I select it, the side is a surface and the top is a region, which can be moved. 